Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, technically, we haven't launched yet, so um, we're not even going yet. But um, we are launching tomorrow, apparently. Speeder tomorrow. So I've been told. Um, I was going to call it the evolution of market research, but I called it in the end survival of the fastest. Um, and predominantly because I've been market research a long time. Market research, I don't know if you know a great deal about it, but it's kind of slightly slow, slightly cumbersome. And in my life, I have been, for the past two decades almost, responsible for this kind of thing, which I don't know if any of you recognize it. It's a person administering a questionnaire on someone's doorstep. More latterly, it's been an email into someone's email box. And if I'm lucky, they're going to click on the email link, and then it'll be taken through to about a 20-minute questionnaire that um, they do or they don't fill out, which is you know, the way it's going at the moment. But as um, you were saying, there's, there's been some really huge changes in the last decade, predominantly in the last decade, I guess, of how we talk to our friends, how we um, search for information, how we get information, how we filter information, and how we kind of uh, can communicate with people in these bite-sized little chunks. Um, and, it's, and then standing back, I've been in market research for two decades, and I think, hmm, market research hasn't really, hasn't thundered along, along this kind of high-tech, kind of uh, path to try and do something terribly different. It's still, I don't know if anyone's ever conducted market research or been involved in market research, but it's still costly. It's still rooted in the social sciences. It still moves fairly slowly and fairly traditionally. So um, it was about a year ago, uh, someone sent me the predictions of who was going to win the X Factor. And sure enough, it was uh, Matt Cardell. And I looked at the results and I thought, I looked at the predictions and I thought, well, kind of, could be slightly obvious uh, at the time. He got a lot of publicity. People, he was well known. And about three weeks later, they published the actual voting statistics. And I looked at it and um, sure enough, the uh, top four were in the right, the final weekend, top four were in the right order. And then I looked at the, um, the actual, um, uh, the actual the number of votes cast and what percentages were. And it was really, really close. And I thought, well, that's quite interesting, you know. And sure enough, then I thought, oh, okay, I'll, I'll ring up and I'll try and meet the guy. And he told me that there were 753 respondents and it was done in about three quarters of an hour and it was done at a fraction of the price that, no that normal market research would be done. And I thought, hmm, okay, fantastic. Well, anyway, since February this year, I've been working with this guy and we've been trying to get what was kind of at a basic level in February, trying to get it going and um, moving it forward. So I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of where we're at. And hopefully, I know the resolution on the screen is a bit odd, so hopefully you can uh, see that. And it's a, basically, it's a self-service market research tool that um, that you can Basically, ask your own questions. Sorry. You're going to have to watch me type just a little bit. And I'm going to add another answer because um, not everyone celebrates Christmas. So I should say, speak amongst yourselves. Celebrate Christmas. I don't celebrate Christmas. Okay, so you could have asked five questions, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm not going to ask any more. So, and you can decide who you want to ask, and you can decide how many people. We're going to do 50. I think you can see that. Just, whoops. I'm going to set it off 50 people, and you can decide when to send it, and you can do it in the future or regularly. And we've got some copyright options, and then you can submit it. OK, so we try to make it as simple as possible to set up a survey. The survey then goes across, and it goes to um, our moderators. And I am the moderator tonight. So there's the question. This is the back end of, the, 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 um, back end of another website, which the user wouldn't actually see. But there's the question. Have you finished Christmas shopping yet? Yes, no. I don't celebrate Christmas. And I'm going to run it now. So. The survey is now being um, posted on our partner sites. And this is the most nerve-wracking bit, just to go back and check that it is being posted. It's running. Shall I stay here until it starts, or shall I risk that I'm going to get to the end and not know? I'm going to go on. OK. 
So that will, that will remain running now. And I don't know, has anyone done any market research? Well, what, a couple of things about it. It's costly, it's time consuming, it's very intrusive on people, long questionnaires, it's labor intensive, it's, it's quite difficult to commission. You've got to send a brief, you've got to get the proposal, you've got to weigh up some proposals. It's kind of inflexible, long project turnarounds, and quite often, and this is uh, quite often actually cited, is the, the result's too late to be actionable because it's quite a labor intensive process. Um, and we think we've actually got around some of those criticisms, all of those criticisms, with uh, this new approach. So um, what do we do? How do we do it? We treat people as people. We don't expect them to do long surveys. We have short five, 30 second surveys at the very most. And if, uh, and we reward them, if appropriate, of, with the currency of the site that they are actually on. And we, crucially, we ask them within their own current digital footprint. We don't ask them to click on a link and go elsewhere. We, we, are, we ask it within the site that they are in. And if anyone knows anything about microsearch, we get a 40% response rate, which is fantastic and which has a number of benefits. Um, number one being the speed with which we can do it. We have a capacity of about a million responses a month. And um, basically what happens when a question like that is asked is that, uh, yeah, you can see it, is that that will get posted on one of our partner sites. And they can either submit their answers, skip it, or, um, or, yeah, or skip it. So we're trying to keep it really low because we're trying to uh, get basically often market research to lots of new, uh, new entrants, people who don't do market research. Market research is usually done by the FTSE 100, basically, and a few other companies. We're trying to open up market research so anyone can actually do it. So 50 quid, who do we hope is going to do it? Basically anyone, anyone, editors, journalists, PR, market researchers, anyone who wants content, anyone who wants some facts, anyone who wants um, some, some weight behind an argument, anyone who's got a hunch and needs to prove it, anyone who's uh, maybe going to a pitch and just wants something to strengthen our, an, argument, uh, an argument for the pitch they're going to. And what kind of things are people going to be asking? Well, journalists might be asking about succession changes, role wedding, uh, do they support a no-fly fly zone in Libya? Uh, do you think the rioters should get t uh, tougher prison sentences? Ad agency might say, did you see the Cup final? What ads do you remember? Um, PR agency might say, which, which of the following mobile phones do you have? Would you recommend it to your friend's family? Because uh, maybe, maybe they've got a client who's going through a crisis. Right, so this brings me to probably the most nerve-wracking part of the presentation to see if it's been answered. Okay, so 88%, 88% of those uh, of that, and it went to 50 people. So 88% of people answered it. Um, I could start, I could carry on talking until we got, what do we got, 90? Go and sing a song or something. Sing a song. Uh, should I sing a Christmas carol, perhaps? Good idea. Once in Royal Davis City. <laughs> I could, I could carry on talking, or I could just uh, I could just dip into the results now because it's it's just a demonstration. So, okay. So, what do we got? Have you finished your Christmas shopping yet? Hopefully, that is no. That bar there is no. Yeah, there we go. Yes, no. So we got 16%. Eight people said, um, "Yep, finished my Christmas shopping." Most people said no, not surprisingly. Um, and if you want to look at gender, maybe you can look at gender and. Sure enough, well, actually, it's pretty even, male and female, in terms of who's finished their Christmas shopping. So um, that's the kind of thing that I have been sitting up in my um, garret doing since February. So you can look at other things, though, words and phrases associated with a mobile phone, in that case, Nokia. And here we did 2,000 respondents in just over two hours. I don't know if you can see that. So that... Uh, is what I've been doing for the last six months or so. Any questions? <coughs>